Goku and Jiren managed to go and beat Goku Black as he proved to be a threat but it was nothing that Goku and Jiren couldn't handle since they've tapped into their newfound god power. In the last part we mentioned that Goku and Jiren has now fought with Beerus as Jiren uses Limit Breaker and he, when he beat Beerus they then decided to go to Whis's world to train with Whis since Whis was the one who trained Beerus. Upon training with Whis, Goku and Jiren both stumble across a power known as God Key. But little did they knew someone from the future has arrived as it was future Gohan and from there Goku Black was trying to kill him. Goku confronted Goku Black as they decided to go to Gohan's timeline and from there Jiren and Goku fought with Goku Black and Zamasu. They didn't merge as merge Zamasu but they didn't study chance against Goku's Super Saiyan Blue power and Jiren's God Key power as they easily went and defeated them once and for all. What is going on my Z fans? Welcome back to another part of what if Goku and Jiren were sent to planet earth. Before we begin this awesome what if, please drop me a like that will greatly appreciate it and if you haven't already clicked the bell yet what are you guys waiting for? Click it so you'll be the first time when the next episode comes out. If you haven't already watched Hero Z, click the link in the side of the comment section below. It is pinned there and check it out. Trust me, you won't regret it. Goku and Jiren has now got the power to beat Goku Black and Zamasu as both of them merged wouldn't even come close to their power and after defeating them they then decide to return right back to their present timeline. Future Gohan did his thing as he couldn't believe that Goku and Jiren were so strong and from there he went back to his own present timeline to a different timeline where Goku Black never exists and from there he has been living his life. Upon Goku and Jiren's arrival they then saw that Beerus Whis and the rest were already at Goku's house trying to have a big feast and eat food and from there Goku and Jiren decided to tell Beerus about the time traveler known as Goku Black and that Zamasu was the one who was involved with it. They had no idea who Zamasu is but from there Beerus had an idea since he has heard that name before and he paid a visit to Universe 10. Upon arriving on Universe 10 Beerus then showed Goku and Jiren that that's Zamasu and when they agreed to that that was him Beerus decided to go and Hakai him since he was the one who used the time rank to become very evil and destroy everything. With that they have all come right back to planet earth as they enjoy their big feast and it was time for the Z fighters to relax since Vegeta, Gohan and Piccolo were doing everything they can to train and get themselves even stronger. Goku and Jiren was also on the same page but they were kinda exhausted after fighting with Goku Black and handling the entire situation. After a few weeks of resting they decided to go right back to Beerus world to train but when they were there they went alone, Gohan and Vegeta and Broly decided to tag along and from there they saw that someone has arrived to Beerus world as that someone was known as the Grand Priest. Beerus was very scared seeing him since he couldn't believe what he was witnessing and from there he bowed on his knees tr trying to show that he is acknowledging the Grand Priest. Goku and Jiren were very confused but from there the Grand Priest went and told them that Lord Zeno has decided to hold something called the Tournament of Power and that they'll need 10 fighters and that the tournament will begin very soon and that they should all get ready. The reason for this tournament of power was due to the fact that Lord Zeno was bored and he also felt that there was too many universes inside the multiverse and that he wants to cut down the one that are very weak. Unfortunately for Universe 7, despite the fact that Jiren and Goku are together inside Universe 7, they still come in the category of being a non-strong mortal universe and therefore they have to participate inside the tournament of power. Daishigen then told him that the rules is the loser will lose their universe and that the winner gets to keep the super dragon balls and wish for anything they want. Upon hearing that got Goku and Jiren shooken as Jiren got really surprised and said, as much I love the idea of having the super dragon balls, I don't want to be the reason to why a universe lost their home. Yeah I know it's crazy, it's like if we beat them we're like killers we killed our universe but if they beat us Jiren then we have killed our own universe. As much as I would not like that to happen, I also made a vow to always protect our universe no matter what. So I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure I win this turn of power and even use the super dragon balls. Before the turn of power has begun, Dai Shinken has arrived towards them a week before the tournament power as he looked towards Goku and Jaren and Beerus and said, Lord Zeno has summoned you too. He would like to see something. Ah, uh, uh, Grand Priest! Yes, of course! as Beerus was very scared and their Jaren and Goku were wondering what's going on. With that Daishiken took them along with Whis and Beerus has come along and they came into a place where they saw all the destroyers were there. Zeno was there as he introduced himself to everyone 
to Goku and Jiren, and with that, they were told that Lord Zeno would like to see their power to see how powerful they are, and that he wants all the destroyers to attack them since Dai Shinkin told Lord Zeno that the power that Goku and Jiren have right now, they are stronger than all the destroyers. Zeno wanted to see that for himself. All the destroyers came in the battlefield to fight with Goku and Jiren, as they all looked towards him and said, So this mortal should be stronger than me? No way in hell. I don't think this mortal even come close to my power. Yeah, there's no way. I'll make sure I end him. <laughs> Bring it. You ready, Goku? Since the king of everything knows who we are, might as well we don't hold our power back. <laughs> I'm with you, Jiren. I said how about we show them something that they have never seen before. Alright, Goku. I'm gonna power my full key then. And I'm gonna use the Ultra Instinct. As everyone saw, Goku went and he tapped into his Ultra Instinct form. Thanks to training with Whis after coming back and doing everything he can to learn it, Goku was able to tap into his Ultra Instinct form, while Jiren was able to use his full power which is equivalent to the same power as Goku's Ultra Instinct. Alright then, who wants to fight us first? With that, Vermont went and he charged right towards Jaren as he tried to strike him but Jaren easily dodged it and he striked him in his face and with that he uppercut Vermont, getting to be sent flying high in the air. Jaren then went and one shot at him while another one named Rumshi came and charged towards Goku and he tried to hit him but Goku dodged it and with that Goku striked him in his stomach as he began to punch him and he got him to be sent flying out of the arena. With that, Goku and Jiren worked together and they began to smash all the destroyers that were there. One by one, they were attacking them, getting to be sent flying and even passing out, since their power was off the chart. After all, Vermont was one of the strongest destroyers, but Jaren was easily able to overpower him here. In the cannon, he was stronger than him, and here and he's able to do that too since he has God Key. Their power is beyond stronger than what there was in the cannon, as since everyone saw that no one was able to come close to Goku and Jaren's power. Zeno was beyond impressed as he couldn't believe what he has witnessed and from there he has declared for Goku and Jiren to be the strongest and he cannot wait to see them participate in the tournament of power. Although all the destroyers felt that it would be unfair if they participate because they could easily win since they're stronger than all the destroyers but Zeno didn't care. They are part of Universe 7 and he wanted them to be part of the whole fight. With that, Daishiken said his thanks as he told them to go back and they'll see them again when the turn of power begins and now they have all arrived back to Earth. After hearing this shocking news got a lot of the Z Fires to be really shocked but it was no biggie since they knew they had Goku and Jiren on their side. Goku and Jiren is already stronger than Beerus and they could be considered to be stronger than most of the destroyers if not all the destroyers so they're not worried. Goku and Jiren decided to spend their last week doing nothing but training with Whis inside the hyperbolic time chamber since they wanted to up their power and be completely ready for the tournament of power and from there Goku was responsible to gather up all the fighters he can to join the tournament of power. With that the tournament has arrived and the fighters for universe 7 are Android 17, Android 18 since they managed to survive and they're living their life peacefully but Goku managed to recruit them. Then you got Nappa. Radis, Gohan, Piccolo, Vegeta, Broly, Jiren, and Goku. As they all have now arrived at the Tournament of Power. Compared to the canon, the strongest one with there was Jiren and that he was from another universe but since he's with Goku, there's no one that will be a threat for Goku and Jiren to handle. As Dai Shinken now have arrived and told everybody the rules about the Tournament of Power and now the tournament has begun. With that, all the fighters went and they start to attack one another, while Goku and Jiren decided to do nothing but meditate and train themselves, being very calm and relaxed, and that when the opponent comes towards them, they'll easily defeat them. 
While Goku and Jiren are busy meditating, Gohan, Piccolo, and Raditz, along with Nappa and Vegeta, took care of the situation on themselves. As Vegeta went, and he transformed to a form known as Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Upon using a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution power, Vegeta went and he began to body most of the people that came in his way as none of them stood a chance. Gohan on the other hand went and he used his mystic power to his fullest since he was able to unleash the sword and unlock his mystic form. He was able to get God Key thanks to Whis as he also held his own and he managed to knock off Kafla who was a fusion of Kale and Khalifa. Since Champa really wanted to win the tournament, he gave them those rings so that they can knock Gohan and everyone else out. While all the z Fires were holding their own, Analaza became a fusion of Universe 3 as they decided to go use that as a trump card to knock out everyone else. But from there, both Goku and Jiren broke the meditation as they came right in front of Analaza and they power up the key. Goku went and he powered up to his Super Saiyan Blue form as he struck Analaza right in his stomach while Jiren went and he uppercut Analaza and with that they both powered a blast getting Analaza to be sent flying towards the arena and from there they threw another blast as he got sent flying out of the arena and now Universe 3 has been erased. Goku and Jiren were very ready since no one was strong enough to come near them and from there Topo has decided to come and confront Jiren as he looked towards him and said I'm here to stop all evil! I'll end you! <laughs> Bring it! Jiren went and he powered up his key as he need Topo right in his stomach getting him to gas for air. Topo went and he decided to use his destroyer mode and from there he rushed right towards Jiren and he tried to hit him but he couldn't lay a finger on Jiren. Jiren easily hold his own as he one shot at Topo and he one shot the entire universe 11. Getting universe 11 to be the next universe to be erased. Goku on the other hand has confronted with Head, as Head was known as to be a deadly assassin and their battle begun. Head went and he tried to do everything he can to overpower Goku, but Goku was far stronger than anyone could anticipate as Goku decided to go and use his Ultra Instinct form. Okay then, it is time I use this new power thanks to Whis. This is my autonomous Ultra Instinct. What in the... Before Hit could say another word, Goku instantly came right in front of him as he headbutted him, getting Hit to be fall towards the ground. Hit saw that he tried to hit Goku but Goku instantly dodged all of his hit as the rest of the Universe 6, Kaba and everyone else came to help but Goku managed to dodge all their hit and he easily knocked him out of the arena. Head was really desperate so he decided to go and use something called a time prison on Goku, getting Goku to be stable as he thought that Goku would not be able to move and when he tried to go eliminate Goku, Goku surprised him by easily moving during being locked in the time prison and he managed to one shot Head, getting to be erased and now Universe 6 has been erased. Everyone from Universe 7 has in the god fallen since if they were about to fall Goku and Jiren would easily save them and with that Universe 7 was the powerhouse. No one stood a chance against them. Everyone tried to go attack them but then Jiren and Goku come in their way. Since you have a full power Jiren and an ultra instinct Goku, they were easily overpowering everyone that was there as none of them stood a chance against them. The whole multiverse knew about Goku and Jiren. The duo they used to possess and their power is so strong and after fighting with all the destroyers in the expedia match, they knew that they were untouchable. As Goku and Jiren prove again inside of Turner Power why they are so strong and they managed to go and eliminate all the fighters that were there, getting everyone to be eliminated except for Universe 7. Jiren felt very guilty that all the universe has been erased while Goku felt the same and with that Dai Chicken was beyond impressed and said, you guys are amazing, I cannot believe it. You managed to go and easily erase all the universe and now, here you go, you get the Super Dragon Ball. Goku, I have a wish. I wish for all the universe to be brought back. I cannot have them my conscience that were the reason why they have been erased. Very wise choice. As they went and used the Super Dragon Balls and now all the universe has been restored. Thanks to Goku and Jiren being the hero of the entire multiverse, they're the reason why everyone has been brought back and they're the reason why Universe 7 stood as Universe 7 has proved to be the strongest universe in the multiverse and Jiren and Goku proved to be the strongest mortal. They're even stronger than their own destroyers and all the destroyers since none of them stood a chance against them. While Goku and Jiren were busy fighting in the tournament of power inside Universe 7, 
Moro, the evil wizard, was able to release himself from his jail cell as he made his way towards Planet Namek, and since he's able to sense Dragon Ball, during his hunt for the Dragon Ball, he was able to sense one thing. As he saw that there was a bottle coming from the ocean, a presence which is very strong, so he decided to swim down in the bottom of the ocean, and when he got the bottle, he released it and it was no one other than Frieza. I see, I'm finally released, oh my god, it's been so long, and who would you be? Ah, so you're Frieza, you could call me Moro. To find out what happened next to my Z fans, you have to click the bell, as we're going to end things right here, with Goku and Jaren proving to be the strongest mortals in the multiverse and no one can come near them, with this new duo work of Frieza and Jaren, will Goku and Jaren stand a chance, or this is the end for all of the Z fighters? All this will be answered in the next part. If you haven't clicked the bell yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click it so it'll be the first time the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet and you want to RP, click the link in the description below and join it. And please check out my backstory, Hero of Z. Trust me, you will not regret it. It is a very awesome series and it's an ongoing series and it's pinned inside the comment section below.